भक्ति विनोदकारी पलपन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्ह जेह नजर समीप रहो हमारी एह नजर समीप रहो हमारी एह कंशमर नी जय हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय Supreme Almighty, our beloved Gansham Maharaj, the path maker to our liberation, our utmost dear Puja Guruji, Puja Santo, and all the Vipaktos, Jai Swami Narayan. Until this moment, we have covered uh, UA course four. So four courses have been officially done, recorded. But this week, this Saturday, this there was no course. Uh, the next course will be starting from ne- next Saturday. So, as of today, we're going to read a uh, talk, a vat from Sadguru Gunatitanan Swami's vato. Swami Narayan Hare, Swami Narayan Hare. There's nothing better for an aspirant then to take refuge firm refuge in god for such a person everything has been achieved and he has nothing more left to do god is the uplifter of the downtrodden redeemer of the sinful and compassionately cares for all who surrender to him thus there is nothing comparable to the talks of the manifest form of god when the sun manifests light spreads everywhere and when we have taken refuge of the manifest form of god at present we remain strong and our strength increases day by day this talk is directly record- regarding taking refuge in the form in god now refuge is such a such a strong word that it holds a lot of definition and it holds a lot of weight refuge and faith have a direct connection with one another one who has faith we can say can have the attribute of refuge one who has refuge we can associate with one that also has faith as well both go hand in hand but in the time of bhagwan swami narayan this was not too much known because bhagwan swami narayan manifested for the first time here on this earth and there at that time while he was showing his miracles while he was portraying his divine kalyankari sadguns qualities while he was building his six temples and writing the shiksha patra and discoursing the vachanamrut and initiating hundreds and hundreds of saints in the end being a grand total of 2500 and finally making millions of devotees yet people could not tell or decipher that is this god or not because at times bhagwan would display some divine uh, divine uh, you can say uh, or human like uh, attributes due to that people became confused and people became uh, very very uh, you can say at some at rage because of bhagwan swami narayan's ever increasing reputation at that time but there's many many charitras of bhagwan swami narayan and how those who take did take refuge did receive something at the end or even at that time and due to that refuge that person not only experienced bliss here on this earth but also experienced bliss at the divine abode of akshardham with maharaj himself there among these charitras there is one charitra that comes to mind which has a direct association with this vat of gunatitanan swami before we get into the charitra 
let's read the vat again so we can analyze while we go through. There is nothing better for an aspirant than to take firm refuge in God. For such a person, everything has been achieved and he has nothing more left to do. God is the uplifter of the downtrodden, redeemer of the sinful, and compassionately cares for all who surrender to Him. All who surrender to Him. Bhagwan does not have any kind of discrimination whether this person is white-skinned or black-skinned or brown-skinned or whether this person has this many sins and this person does not have any sins at all or even at the level of this person has this many good qualities and this person has this many good qualities so I'm going to pick this person over this person nothing like that in the eyes of Bhagwan, everyone is equal we are all his children but Bhagwan has only one stipulation for that exact rule to apply which is just surrender to me surrender at my feet I mean even if we take uh, an example here in practical uh, <clears throat> life even in the times of kings those who were the worst if they surrendered to the king the king would immediately maybe not let them go but at least spare their life at least let them go after their punishment was over due to that those people's lives were saved and they could live happily ever after but seeing so if kings tend to forgive if that person falls at his feet then Bhagwan Swaminarayan is the king of kings Bhagwan Swaminarayan is the lord of lords how could he not forget how could he not remember how could he not take the one that ex even for even the slightest moment accepts him accepts Bhagwan Swaminarayan to be his god then Bhagwan accepts him right away even at that time Bhagwan accepts him so much so that not only does he take care of this life but also take care of the life after because while going from this earth to Akshardham there's many many different uh, <clears throat> you can say amusement parks that this soul can get lost in Bhagwan to test the uh, the capability to test the the understanding of the soul Bhagwan shows happiness and bliss in different realms and if that person gets bonded or binded to that happiness then there's no way of reaching Akshardham therefore Bhagwan has the stipulation that if you surrender to me I'll take care I'll, I'll take you all the way meaning all the way to Akshardham Bhagwan will not let us get stuck anywhere because of him and also one other element which is the Hikantik Satpurush his Samagam his association due to that he'll warn us hey be careful don't go there or you'll get stuck there hey be careful if you do this then this will happen all these different variations of warnings help us get to Bhagwan's Dham that's how delicate of a road this is that's how sensitive of a road this is and just like in India I'm reminded 100 200 years ago in circuses they had rope dancers and it would be just a fine rope maybe about four to five feet uh, above uh, above the ground tied to two poles from a distance of 15 to 20 feet and this rope dancer would walk on this rope even at times uh, with different things in his hands and balance at the same time without falling in the same way this delicate path of of our soul going on this journey continuing on this journey without making any diversions and going directly to God is in the fashion of that rope dancer there's many many things that that rope dancer has to be careful of many things he has to watch out for his weight his balance 
the things in his hands, his eye coordination, his feet coordination, and so on and so forth. Only when all these things at the same time are harnessed by his vruttiya, by his vision, and his concentration stays very sharp, then he can get from one pole to another without falling or without anything falling from his hands. In the same way, if we have the firm refuge of Bhagwan Swami Narayan, then just like that rope dancer, just like how he crossed from point A to point B with going from that pole to the other pole, just like that, they can cross easily without any issues or without any problems. But this can only be possible if one has a kind of concentration, if one has a goal of reaching point A to point B, in that possible way, that invisible hands that are supporting that rope dancer, for us, is in the form of Bhagwan and his Ekantik Satpurush. They're supporting us, they're having us, in, in supporting us with their hands, even if we may not be able to see. And due to that very support, Due to that very support, that help, we're able to walk on this path of Akshardham, walk on this path of God. And finally, when that happens, then we can definitely reach Akshardham without any problems at all. So going to back to that Charitra, or going starting that Charitra, Bhagwan Swaminarayan had many devotees in his time that had to go through such kind of hardships of refuge but in the time of Bhagwan there was a boy by the name of Dayo Dayo was a boy who at first did not have satsang but Santos came to his uh, village and Santos uh, performed satsang to him talked about the glory of Bhagwan Swaminar and who he is this boy Dayo and due to that this boy started to do the puja started to perform the tilak chanlo, wore the kanti, did not eat onion, garlic, all these variation of rules he started to follow. So what happened was his parents, especially his father, did not believe in Swaminarayan, especially at that time because Bhagwan Swaminarayan, just how much he was famed in the world, just how he was exemplified as a, a, a time changer, revolutionized the whole time and era of India in that time, he was also considered to be a fake at the same time. He was also considered to be a magician. He was also considered to be just a saint, but not a god. Due to that factor, there is much, much aversion, much, uh, many, many people hated the Swaminarayan sect. And Dayo's father was one of them. Dayo's father he started to observe his son's behavior in the form of how he would do puja every day, how he would do tilak chanlo, how he would uh, you know, uh, not eat onion garlic when they made food in their home. So then he became very, very distraught. And he went to Dayo and he told him that if you don't stop this, I'll beat you. Dayo said, Ma Father, we have received, he didn't say I, but we have received Bhagwan Swaminarayan, this satsang, these saints. Why not live a life? All the people on the outside are doing such kind of things where they're doing vulgar things where they don't become happy at the end. But as a satsangi, look at me before and look at me now. How much have I changed? I have changed my ways. Due to that, please understand all they want to do is chant Bhagwan's name, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan. The father did not understand. The father got even more, you can say, very, very uh, hot-minded. And what he did was he started beat Dayo. He started to beat him until he stopped saying the name. But he did not stop. Dayo just kept going and going. So then what they decided to do was his family started to gather there. And they were all against Dayo. But Dayo had the refuge of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. He did not let go of Swaminarayan, Swaminarayan, the name of Bhagwan. They took his puja away. 
They gave him food, but it had onion and garlic inside. They broke his kanti off and they erased his tilak channel. All these things happened to him, yet Dayo continuously in the room chanted Bhagwan's name, meditated upon Bhagwan's murti. Yet nothing happened. Three days, four days, five days went by. His father kept looking in, saying, What's going on? What happened? I hope he's changed his way. So time to time he would go in and say, Are you ready to give up the name? Are you ready to give up all this fake fake religion? And Dayo just kept chanting without saying anything else, without disrespect, without any kind of rude behavior. Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan. Dayo kept chanting and the father kept punishing. Just think about this boy was only nine years old and he developed such kind of satsang from Santos coming to his village and listening to their talks. But he had a refuge. He believed that Bhagwan will do well for him. And he believed that Bhagwan would uplift him. Due to this, Dayo did not give up, even at that age. And then finally his father got fed up. He took Dayo by the head and he took him to the farm. He took Dayo to the farm and there there was a bullock cart. Now without the bullock, it's just a cart and then at the front there's just these two poles that the bullock is tied to so that it can be pulled. What his father did was he tied Dayo by the neck. He tied Dayo by the neck to those two poles and he stood on the other side of the cart. Now again his father got angry and he warned him, this is your last chance. Don't think that I won't push this cart up. Dayo said, Father, I have not deceived you at all in this short life. I have not yet broken any of your commands. But since the day I have received satsang, it has changed my life. My whole soul has transformed. Bhagwan Swaminarayan is with me and he is always with me and he is mine and I am his. There is nothing else for me here in this world. So do as you wish. And kept chanting Swaminarayan, Swaminarayan, Swaminarayan. While the boy chanted, in just a few moments, his father, enraged, clouded, his whole intelligence, his whole buddhi, clouded, did not know at that time what he was doing. And he pulled the card up, and Dayo, a nine-year-old boy, was there, you can say, killed by his own father for saying Bhagwan's name for putting the tilak channel on, for wearing a kanti, for not eating onion garlic, for doing puja. Just for that, what we have to look at is it's a sad story. But in the end, Bhagwan Swami Narayan did come and take Dayo to his Akshradham and kept him in his divine murti there. But the thing to see right now here is that at the age of nine, even after following this much, Dayo did not give up the refuge of God. He did not forget Bhagwan. He kept Bhagwan with him. And even if he had to let go of this body, this short spanned aged body, it didn't matter to him. In Bhagwan Swaminarayan's Vachnamrut, Loya 3rd chapter, Bhagwan Swaminarayan states that the person who has faith with the greatness of God and his saint, what can he not do for him? He can give up wealth, he can give up his home, he can give up his property, he can give up his wife, and in reverse, uh, he can give a, she can give up his husband. What can that person not do? for Bhagwan, 
anything and everything is possible and Dayo proved it here in this charitra from this vat we can understand that in the time of Bhagavan Swami Narayan or may it be right now those who Bhagavan Swami Narayan have accepted as his are not ordinary people at all they are not ordinary souls because it's not possible for an ordinary person or soul to do any of these things as of right now in this age in the form of satsang in the form of fighting with one swabhaus in the form of in the form of diluting oneself to such a meek person and becoming a servant of the servants completely giving up one's mind's thoughts and applying the thoughts of the satpurush in one's mind this can be not done by any regular people in satsang here therefore maharaj's satsang maharaj himself the ekantik satpurush his santo and bhakto are all divine and that divine you can say feeling that divine you can say uh, divinity that they hold is all due to the foundation base of refuge in Bhagwan, or you can say faith in Maharaj. From this charitra we can learn that we won't have to ever go through such kind of situation as Daya Bhagat. But definitely in the world we might have to give up our, you can say, peer pressure in the form of friends, of eating outside, or even doing something that we're not supposed to. Or in the form of coming to Mandir over, going outside and going with friends or choosing satsang overall staying God centered over the world this is something we will have to balance this is something that we will have to encounter and the best way to do this is that for those who have taken refuge if we look at their charitras if we think about Dayo that I didn't have to do this much then Bhagwan Swaminarayan will be happy if you choose satsang over the world and in, in the end, satsang is pretty much letting go of the world and attaching oneself to Maharaj as Ekantik Satpurush, Santo and Bhakto. Saying this, my humble Jai Swaminarayan.